Hello friends, and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is about the upside down, topsy-turvy world we're living in. Right is wrong, good is bad. Up is down, in is out. Listen to me, says the media. Raging insanity. 20, 30 years ago, that's what we would have called all this craziness, raging insanity. But now, these days, our media and our officials and our government and our teachers and our colleges and all of our elite, elite people tell us, no, that's, that's acceptable now. It's 2023. Give it the game. It's all good. No, it's not. The word tells me otherwise. And it's time we stand up and tell them that. And I'm glad to see some people are. I live in the mountain area of North Carolina and we had a breakthrough country star come out of North Carolina the other day. So proud. First thing he did when he got on stage was read out of Psalms. He read some scripture. That was great. Wonderful. Way to go. The me generation is living in the flesh and living in the moment. And it's just crazy. I'm going to read this for you out of Matthew. I'm going to start out Matthew. Um, verse 24. No, chapter 24, verse 5. Take heed, no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning, I think that's the beginning of the tribulation. But the church will be called up after the dead rise before tribulation. So you don't want to be here for that. That was what my last video was about. And that is so moving and shaking for this time. And it says on down in, let's see, verse 10, Matthew 24, 10. And then many will be offended and they will betray one another and they will hate one another. There's so much hate in the world right now everybody's fussing at everybody and everybody thinks they're right because many are deceived like i said my daughter my daughter went to school and one of her teachers would say well that's okay you can be this person or you can change to that or you can carry this flag or you can do this or that because it's 2023 and it's acceptable now that teacher don't belong in that place if that's the way nothing should influence your children and there's so many bad influences in the world right now. And the Bible warns us of these, all this stuff to come in. So we were all warned of all of it. The liars, the hypocrites, and the deceivers. And they have a hold on our young people. They have a strong hold and taking all their energy from them. From all this evil stuff. And now I want to read out of Romans chapter 8. There is, therefore, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh. And see all those people, the elites, the teachers, the government, the media, all those people that are telling our young kids that all this stuff is okay. It's acceptable now. You can do whatever. It's 2023. We have, to we have to refer back to the word because it plainly tells us it's not okay. The rules don't change as the years go by. That don't change the rules. But the media and the, like I said, the schools and the colleges, teachers, and they try to act like as time goes by, the rules change. The rules don't change. And while behind your back, they're telling your children, Oh, it's okay. The rules change as the, as the ages go by. You can do what you want now. And that's just not the case. And that's what uh, I wanted to talk to you about today. The 
upside down. Right is wrong, good is bad. People see it, people know it. Once in a while, someone points it out. It needs to be pointed out every time. Every time somebody does this to your family, to your children, to try to target people, if you don't call them out, then it's like saying it's okay. It's not okay. That's what's wrong with our country now. People stopped calling it out because they didn't want to offend anybody. Like the verse I just read you, people will be offended. It doesn't matter that um, I'm not going to let you be offended. Keep me and my family from the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter who's offended. You know what I'm saying? And I had one more verse picked out. And it's good to see all of the people waking up. I've seen, a, I've got a lot of friends that have, not friends, a lot of people that I speak to sometimes that people are waking up. They're waking up to seeing the truth, to seeing the light. And some of them are like, oh my goodness, I've been in the dark so long. That's why the Bible tells us to walk in the light and don't live by the flesh. Walk, God is light. Walk in the light. If someone tells your child they can do something that's against what you believe in, you have to stand up for that or suffer the consequences. And a lot of the people are going to suffer those consequences for a long time. Because Paul said in the end that people would turn away, that people would, you know, turn away from God. Let's see. And I want to read you one more. First Timothy 4, 1. In case you're following along. Hope you are. First Timothy chapter 4. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. And that's exactly what we've been talking about. People getting away from the faith and our kids, our younger generation, letting other people influence them instead of their parents. Their parents are their influence, not the school or the college or the teachers or the news or what, no, the parents. And it's up to us to say, no, this is the word, not what they say on your one-sided news and your one-sided ungodly unholy demon news is not going to lead your children in the right way you are going to lead your children in the right way and if you don't stand up to it like i said then you're just as guilty and if you don't stand up to it they are going to get your children definitely and there's no way around that Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And what that is exactly saying, they normalize this stuff and they normalize it on you or in your family. That's the whole point. Seared, your conscience seared like with a hot iron. It becomes normalized. Oh, it's okay to wear that rainbow now because it's 2022 no the bible says other words the bible says contradictory that's why we say everything is upside down good is bad right is wrong in is out and that's the gist of it forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which god created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth for every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. And that part of the verse is just telling you, look, I don't eat pork. But if I went to my neighbor's house and they, that's what they were having for their barbecue, that's what I would eat. Because they're giving it to me in thanksgiving, and that's what they have. And that's the thing to do. You don't jump back and say, oh, I don't eat pork. You know, you, they're giving you that in thanksgiving. That's there with that scripture, which I think is really good also. Very, very interesting. So people were in interesting times, and it's interesting to see all of it play out. But it's no fun, and we're here to help as many people as we can. 
and talk to as many people as we can. And that's what we're gonna do day by day. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.